In Nehemiah 5, we see Nehemiah, the governor of Jerusalem, confronted with a problem. The people of Jerusalem were suffering from poverty and debt, and some were even being forced to sell their children into slavery to pay off their debts. Seeing this, Nehemiah, he was appalled by this injustice, so he took action to correct the situation. He called a meeting of the people and rebuked the nobles and officials who were oppressing their fellow Jews. He reminded them of their duty to serve God and care for their neighbors, and he challenged them to change their ways. He personally set an example by refusing to take advantage of his position as governor, and instead, he worked alongside the people to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Check it out. From this passage, we can learn several important lessons. First, we need to be aware of the needs of those around us and be willing to take action to help them. Second, we need to hold ourselves and others accountable for our actions and make sure that we aren't taking advantage of others. And last, we need to follow Nehemiah's example of leadership by setting a positive example for others to follow. We see in verse 15 that Nehemiah lived different because of the fear of God. You see, Nehemiah cared more about having a reverence for God than seeking glory from the people. Nehemiah was controlled by treasuring God in his heart and life rather than being controlled by power, greed, and other fleshly desires. He did good for the love of God and knew that God saw his actions and words. Even crying out in verse 19, Remember, O oh my God, all that I have done for these people and bless me for it. Here's the deal. This is so important. We have to treasure God above all else because it's the only way we will be dead to sin and alive to God. So let us strive to be like Nehemiah standing up for justice and serving others with love and compassion. May we be people of integrity, putting the needs of others before our own and pointing others to the hope that is found in Jesus.